Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to thank the moderators and the program committee for allowing us to present our work. We have no disclosures uh, pertaining to this uh, study. Uh, minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy uh, is coming in and is slowly replacing uh, the open pancreatect uh, distal pancreatectomy as the standard of care. Uh, the previous studies, which were showing a non inferiority com uh, when was compared to open, now there are recent studies, especially this 2019 uh, randomized control trial from France that showed that minimally invasive uh, uh, distal pancreatectomy was associated with uh, improved quality of life compared to uh, open. Uh, distal pancreatectomy uh, and uh, robotic as well as laparoscopic distal pancreatectomy soon is going to become the standard of care. Uh, the aim of our study were to assess the trends and disparities in access to minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy. For this purpose, we did an eight year analysis of the National uh, Cancer Database from 2010 to 2018. We included all patients who underwent distal pancreatectomy, open distal pancreatectomy. Uh, and then were divided into minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy, which included both laparoscopic and robotic, sorry, not open, robotic. Uh, we used the Cochrane Armitage trend analysis and regression analysis to uh, evaluate our outcomes. Uh, during the study period of eight years, we had a total of 13,537 patients who underwent distal pancreatectomy. 55.8% uh, patient underwent open distal pancreatectomy, while as 44.2% had minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy. Uh, here are the trend analysis uh, presented in this paper. Uh, on the y-axis, you see the percentages of the distal pancreatectomy performed as minimally invasive, that is robotic slash laparoscopic. And on the x-axis, we see the number of years. Uh, from 2010, as we see, only 26%, which was one uh, a quarter of only the distal pancreatectomies were performed minimally invasive. And now in 2017, this number had increased to about 52%. So half of them are now being performed uh, minimally invasive. And this trend was uh, statistically significant on the Cochrane trend analysis. Uh, when we looked at uh, uh, disparities and gender base, uh, there was no difference uh, in the female gender. About half and half of these uh, minimally invasive distal pancreatectomies are performed in male and half in females. Uh, the number which started with 49% has stayed the same, and the trend was not significant on the trend analysis. Uh, when we looked at uh, these rates based on the race, uh, in 2010, when 86% of them were performed in uh, white, compared to only 10% in African American, uh, the, even though the uh, percentage of white has decreased to 83%, uh, some other races are involved as well, the rate of minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy has uh, considerably stayed the same in African American, uh, and the trend is significant on uh, the trend analysis as well. When we looked at based on ethnicity, uh, this, the rate of uh, minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy has increased from 4% to 6% in the Hispanic population, which is significant. Uh, we then looked at uh, the rates of minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy based on the insurance status. And as we see that uh, about 51%, 39% uh, of them are performed in private patients, started at 44. And then at the CA 2015, there was a bump up when uh, uh, Medicare uh, patients were started undergoing more distal pancreatectomies. But those who are uninsured uh, and those who are, have Medicaid, they are a, a slightly disadvantaged with a rate of 2% and 5%. Uh, we then performed multivariate regression analysis controlling for the age, gender, diagnosis, tumor grade, and we showed that uh, no difference in gender. When male gender was taken in reference, uh, female had no difference uh, in the rates of undergoing minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy. However, African-American uh, uh, population, when compared to the white, had about 29% uh, decreased odds of undergoing a minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy. Similarly, when we uh, took uh, non-Hispanic as a reference, Hispanic had a 25% lower rate and uninsured compared to private insurance had about 50% lower rate of undergoing uh, a minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy. So in the light of our study, we concluded that uh, 
the rate of minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy has doubled uh, during the study period from 25% to about 50%. There are significant disparities which exist in access to minimally invasive distal pancreatectomy based on race, ethnicity, and insurance status. A multifaceted approach in addressing underlying structural and systemic issues in the healthcare system and investing in problems uh, in programs that promote health equity will help us to improve outcomes in these patients. Thank you so much, and I'll be happy to take any questions.